What is up, wieners? Welcome back to Camp Claw. It's good to see you again. It's a beautiful day up in Maine. It's 91 freaking degrees. I'm sweating my booty off, but we got lots to do today. As you can see, I got my work goggles on, so you know it's gonna be serious. Midday right now, actually, it's more into the afternoon. Kind of been trying to get some things connected here. Took some time off, but we are back at it with yet another pond restoration video. You guys seem to like that last one. Part number two was was really cool. It wasn't, I know, the most exciting video, but a lot of you guys enjoyed it, which is awesome, and it makes me happy. So today we're gonna do another one. This one's gonna be kind of fun because we're actually gonna be putting and creating structure in the pond. Um, by the way, we're still working on that name. I'm, I'm looking through all the submissions. You guys came up with a lot of good stuff, but um, yeah, I haven't found it yet. Before we do that, though, I gotta. I gotta make a very important addition to the cabin. Alex, you wanna help me out real quick? I don't get mail at the cabin. I live in what most would call bum fuck. So I have to go to the UPS store in town to get my packages. I just went and picked up some stuff. I got this thing that I've been waiting on for quite some time. It may look like dust, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. All right, you ready? Voila. Oh. <laughs> How dope is that? I went on uh, Etsy, you guys know that site, Etsy? You get a bunch of custom stuff done. And I got someone to make me a camp claw sign. I also got a Wiener Woods sign. Uh, just <laughs> thinking the fact that I asked someone to make a sign that says Wiener Woods is kind of weird. They probably are like, what the hell does this kid want this sign for? It's for the woods behind my house. Wiener, not literally meaning a wiener, it's my dog. Anyway, camp claw, how dope is that? I love that, look, it's so sick. We gotta figure out a way to put this up top there. Yeah? Is it kind of like, it kind of covers it up, doesn't it? Hey, thanks to you guys, what a great name. You know, one thing that happens a lot in this cabin is claws are consumed. And there's also bears out here too, so it's like double meaning. I am gonna hang it up though, because I could definitely see me stumbling out here at 5 a.m. and a thing just hits me in the noggin and then I die. That'd be real sick. Oh, we do a lot of stupid things in the cabin, but that's definitely one of the more brilliant ones. I love it. You gotta have a name for your camp. You just can't have it be the camp. It's gotta be Camp something. Camp Claw, Camp Krusty, Camp, I don't know, Crow, whatever it is, but Camp Claw is the name of this one. So sick, thank you guys. What a beautiful little sign that is. I don't know who made this, but someone made it and they did a stellar job. Suck. Where are you gonna post that picture, John? Oh, I'm gonna post that picture on the gram skis. If you guys wanna follow us on Instagram, myself and Alex, boop, right there. If you guys are on the gram, shoot us some comments, shoot us some DMs, we're always reading you guys' stuff. Obviously, because you came up with that name, so. Yeah, onwards to the rest of today's video. That was just kind of a nice little intro. We got some stuff in the truck that we need to build and work on, so we have some structure in our little pond. Let's get after it. Lucky, go pee pee. I'm peeing and you pee. Watch, just like this. You know, I've never actually done anything like this before, so this is the first time for me. I, I never owned a pond, let alone built structure for one, so I'm excited about this. We're in the rig runner, driving back in Wiener Woods right now, heading to the pond. Um, I think, just a little foreshadowing, I think the next video we're gonna film is we're gonna try to catch that mystery fish. I've been having sleepless nights wondering what the hell is living in the pond. Could be anything. There's so many different types of species that are here. There's so many different native species in Maine. There's a bunch that aren't supposed to be here as well. Who knows the previous owner stocked in there. But the only way to find out is to throw some minnows out there and see if anything chomps it. Oh, look, an old deer stand. Some hunky dory back here. She wanna ride me like a cruise. We are here! Okay, so this is how it's gonna go down. We have a few different options of how we're gonna make this. Nice. Got some more rocks for the stream. So we've got these cinder blocks that um, are gonna be a part of the structure build. There's a lot of different ways you can create structure for your pond. You can go the natural route, you can go the man-made route. You can buy structure, which just seems so dumb because I'm, I'm pretty sure what you're buying is just PVC and concrete, which you can easily make that. Even a, an idiot like me can do that. Um, so, wow, dude, I'm just getting slaughtered by black yeah. flies. Like instantly, instantly, they're all up in my hair. Cinder blocks, and then a little bit of quick crete. Concrete mix, 80 pounds of it. Oh, shit. I knew that was gonna happen, to be exact, that's fine. The other thing I wanna try, which I have not seen anyone do yet, is uh, take these pots, which, I made out of clay, correct? So it's naturally something that would occur in 
nature in, in like a normal setting. You just got to think before you do it. And obviously I'm going to make some mistakes throughout this whole restoration as well. But what I want to do is set this up, put some sticks in here, like actual like sticks from around the pond's edge and fill it with concrete and then place it throughout different spots in the, in the pond itself. So we'll start with the pot. Pot is also legal in Maine. So I don't want to hear any comments in the section below. We got that bucket. Little lake water shouldn't hurt nothing. Oh my god, the black flies are nasty right now. They're vicious. Leave me alone. We gotta find some good sticks, some good healthy sticks that aren't gonna rot away. There's some birds on the property. That'd probably be our best bet. Should have brought my saw. Wasn't thinking about that. Oh, it's really rocky back here. This should be good to start off with. The nice thing about this is everything that I'm using other than the concrete and that pot naturally occurs in this pond. I'm picking up sticks from trees that are starting in the pond. So in theory, none of this should disrupt the ecosystem, which is really important. This is really heavy. I got little SpongeBob arms. Come on, sister. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. There's, <laughs> I haven't been talking, I've been in the zone. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We'll see. I suppose we'll have to play her by you. This is really starting to bust up. Okay. And just like that, we've created our first little piece of structure. I think I, I mixed that concrete like an absolute dumbass. I'm not much of a handy dude. I stick to fishing and filming, but this should work nonetheless. I think I needed to mix it more, but that's all right. It should still be good. We don't need this thing to be indestructible. But they have, you kind of get the idea of it. So the, the concrete's gonna keep the sticks down. That's gonna be good for bait fish, anything we stock in here in the future. Small will relate to this if we get a chance to put small eyes in here. So we're just gonna let this settle for a bit and then work on some other ones. I don't wanna create them all like this. This is just one type that I, I think looks pretty cool. Looks dank. Looks really sick. Ah, voila. Our first fish home we've made. It's, it's a little rough around the edges, but like I said, First one I've ever made. It's gonna take a while to really nail down the process, especially seeing as I, I clearly can't mix concrete worth of crap, but it looks damn good. You just gotta have to imagine this is like a little brush pile. The thing is you just can't throw wood into a pond because wood floats. So you have to find a way to sink that wood and concrete's one of the more reliable, better options. Okay, so we did the pot one. Let's try one of the cinder blocks now. I want this next one to be big. I want it to be like more of a lay down than an actual brush pile. So I'm looking for the most ideal most beautiful piece of wood I can find on the property. I haven't had any luck yet, but I'm not done yet. Yes, big standing piece of timber. This could be legendary. It's like a, it's like a Texas, Texas standing piece of timber. Reminds me of back home. I think this is it. I just don't know if, I don't know if we're gonna find a deep enough spot to really fully sink it. You know, I own a chainsaw. I feel like that'd be a lot more useful than me just trying to break this with my hands. So janky. <laughs> Whatever, it'll work. It'll buff. Still might be a little too heavy. Kinda, sorta. What do you think? That would look sick in the water. Yeah, I've seen worse. I've seen much worse. Stick it up. Now, in my opinion, this one looks a lot freaking better than our first one we did. First one was a trial and error. I made a few 
errors during that trial. But this one, we got it done. We got the concrete mixed a little bit better. I just think this looks way more natural. This looks like legit brush pile. And that cinder block is gonna keep everything down there for a long, long time. Big fan of this one. I'm dripping in sweat. I don't know man could be this hot. I am like dying right now, just perspirating. Just perspirating, my guy. Let's see how this other one's doing. You can tell it's starting to dry a little bit. Uh, uh. We'll give that one, give that one probably 20, 30 more minutes. Um, well, I suppose we can work on another. It's hot out here. You should take a dip in the pond. I have some serious nipples, but if there weren't magnum leeches in there, I would, but there's huge leeches in there. I'm not trying to get clapped up by a northern leech. They're like, that one is like freaking that big. Big dogs. You don't want one stuck on your nipple? No, I don't want any leeches sucking on my nipples. What the hell's wrong with you? Just out here looking for a nice piece of wood. Oh, what's up, tree? Howdy doody. This is what I'm talking about. That's a birch. That's some birch. There we go. That'll be enough. I really just wanted this piece. We'll bring it all back though. All right, we got some juicy wood. Oh, you're stepping on my wood guy. It's janky. It'll work though. I, I kind of ran out of concrete there. I didn't realize that like 80 pounds of concrete really is not that much. That way it'll hold it up, you know? Three fish homes down. This one's made out of birch. It's that top quality premier Versace birch that we're using out here. Ain't none of that gap birch. You know what I'm saying? I actually put some rocks above the concrete so that way the birch stands up straight in the middle and we've got a completely vertical standing piece of timber i enjoy it this is fun it's actually kind of relaxing if you guys have a pond at home or if you know somewhere you can legally do this build these they're fun they cost no money like concrete is fairly cheap wood free if you again get it legally and then you just need some flower pots or some center blocks and you are minty looking fresh they're all dead wait what yes I thought we determined that there was no fish that were caught in the fish traps. Okay. Well, that sucks. I feel like a complete idiot. We put this out, was it yesterday? And uh, we checked it and there was no fish in there. So I just, th I just thought, hey, I'll just leave it in there for another day. Kind of forgot about it. Uh, we caught a lot of fish. <laughs> oh no, they're dead, aren't they? Well, we've determined there's fish in here. I wonder if these are the ones that we stocked. They don't look like it, do they? I'll pour this water out. What does it look like to you? Does it look like the ones we stocked? These look different, don't they? Look a little bit different. They yeah. have bigger eyes. They might they might be the shiners we put in there. Um, honestly, it looks like they just recently died. Like, just weren't doing so good. I wonder why they died, though, because I mean, it's not, they were in the water. Yeah. Why do you think they died? It's only been a, a, less than a day. You know what might have happened? Oh, did you get a whiff? It's stinky. Oh, oh. That's stinky. Oh, that's okay, stinky. I'm gonna put that over there. Ooh, it's like really stinky. You know what um, might have happened? What? The crawfish might have put them in there. Nah, they got in there and they died, I think. I didn't think there was any food in there. They might have just gotten trapped. Oh, look, there's a little, one of those little frogs with her little tail. We got that on cam. What, the frog? Yeah. Oh yeah, those things are sick. Um, well, kind of a bummer. <laughs> we might have just killed the fish that we stocked. That is something I would do. I could really mess up a wet dream if I tried hard enough. Oh, fuck, he's a big one. Just the thought of them sucking your blood with their gross little mouths, just, ugh, just not, not, not a fan. God, he's big. That's a big leech. I bet they get bigger too. I've, I've heard Maine or like northern leeches get giant. I was about to let them latch onto me for content's sake, and I'm just like, you know, it's just not worth it. One of the other things that we need to put on the list of to-dos for the pond restoration is, is get rid of this geriatric dock and put in a new one. It's not bad, honestly. It's like it's lasted many winters, but it's uh, starting to fall apart a little bit, which is no bueno. What should we do? Should we do a flo another floating dock or like an actual like? I think an actual dock dock would be cool. You know, it'd be sick. It's like a little gazebo. It'd be very extra. It'd be very bougie, but it'd be cool. Nice little gazebo. Come out here, roast some wieners. 
watch the sunset, maybe catch some fish once we put some in there. That'd be a time. John, give me your phone. Why? Give me your no. phone. No, you're not. Give me your phone. No, you're not. Not happening. Just, not with my muck boots. Just up. hand me no. the phone. No. Nobody gets hurt. Negative. I don't know it's more exciting watching paint dry or concrete dry. Have you seen the last video? The one where we were like, hey, if this video gets 30,000 likes, I'll buy a $27,000 side by side. And you said there's no way we're gonna even get close to that. The video was posted, how many minutes ago? An, an hour, hour ago? Half. Like an hour and a half. I just wanted to go like look at the views, like just to make sure it's doing good. It's doing great. Thanks for the love and support. You guys are awesome. Seem to really love the pond videos. But you're loving it a little bit too much because we have 12,000 likes. We're almost halfway <laughs> To the point in which I have to blow twenty-seven thousand dollars on a side by side. I don't have that kind of money to. Ugh. I don't have that kind of money. Period. I don't have that kind of money to spend on something like that. But I'm a man of my word, and a bet's a bet. So it looks like I might lose this bet within the first hour, dude. This dude is killing it, though. This just in: I might have a side by side and a Can-Am Defender. Oh my god, the Can-Am is not even fixed yet. It was only a few days we dropped it off. Anyway, I'm over here sulking, sitting on my ass, waiting for the concrete to dry. While we're doing that, I do want to show you guys another package that came in the mail today. I'm not 100% sure what's in there, but I think I have a good idea. I really hope there was nothing fragile in there. Um, what, what could this possibly be? I think I know what it is. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah it is. Oh, sick. Okay, this is big stuff. Anyway, we got some green. Always good when we get green packages. We got some uh, baits, re-upped on some baits. The small club here love the Crack and Craw Jr. So I had the boys down at the warehouse send me some of that. Huge shout out to you guys, Matt and Grant. Love you both. Um, we also have some new Guggen apparel that just came in. Check out this tee. I don't know if this is, is this new? I'm not sure if this is new or, oh yeah, this is the new gold series. Guggen Squad Gold, so sexy. If you guys wanna pick up some of these shirts, check the link down below. You support me, you support the rest of the Guggens. We love you for it, and thank you so much in advance. Um, oh, there's, oh, here's a sweatshirt. Oh no, this is a, oh, is this a quarter, is it? No. Oh no, there's sweatpants. Whoa, bro. So this is all that Team Guggen Elite stuff. Yeah, this is like the Guggen Gold Elite series that we have. It's like, it's like our more premier apparel threads that we make. First time I've ever seen this in person. That's so dirty. Along with apparel, uh, I was also sent some Moultrie trail cams. Now, as you know, I've got three cams set up on the property. They're like these cheap Amazon ones. They work okay, they're not the best. They're kind of dusty, but Moultrie is a company that uh, sent us some stuff for free, so shout out to Moultrie. I'm gonna set these up, I suppose maybe today. I don't know if they have to charge, but the cool thing about these is you can actually connect these to your phone if you have cell phone uh, service, which we do. There's actually one bar of LTI here, which is should be enough. And you can have a setting on here where you get to choose what you take a picture of. So if like a bear walks past and you wanna take a picture of a bear, if you're hunting bear, you can snap that picture and it'll just save the bear and then it will basically ignore anything else that walks in front of the camera, including like deer, bobcats, anything like that. So it selectively chooses the animal I don't get it, can't wrap my head around it, I don't know the technology, but it's what these things can do, which is really dirty. Yeah, 0.9 second trigger speed, one, two, three, easy setup. That's, I'm all about that. Uh, 50 foot invisible flash range, wow. These are really good. I, I have heard good things about these trail cams. I don't really hunt that much, but it's just nice to see what's living on a property. Let's see what we have in this. I think these are also Moultrie stuff too. Oh yeah, these are the ones that connect to your phone. Yeah, these are the Moultrie Mobiles. Dirty. Very dirty. Have you ever seen these before? No. They're, you, don't, they don't, you don't recognize them? Yeah, they're really cool. I don't know if they're a newer company, if they've been around for a while, but I just like the concept that it can hook up to your phone. Oh yeah, see look. Selectively, like you can take a picture of a buck and then maybe ignore a doe if it walks past. You can also get people and vehicles. I might even want to set one of these up outside uh, my camp just for security purposes. Thanks, Moultrie. Much love. And also thanks to the boys for sending me some more baits. I was running really low on the, on the junior crack and crawls. The smallies up here are destroying that. Yeah, this is what Peric feels like. Big's a, buddy's a big surfer, skateboarder. Can you kick flip a brick? <laughs> <laughs> just eat. Well, so I suppose what we'll do here is uh, head back to the cabin, get some rest, and wait for these beautiful or maybe not so beautiful fish structures to uh, fully seal and get ready for uh, placing them in the water tomorrow. So we'll catch you in the AM, bright and breezy. Oh. Well, 
I made concrete where I didn't want to make concrete. Damn, girl, you're looking good. Let's see, should we do the blizzard test? Is that what they do at Dairy Queen? Oh, blizzard test, it worked. Yeah, so she's fully in there. This is the first one we made. Not the most stunning, beautiful piece of artwork, but hey, it's made with love. This one right here is the more dynamic one. I, I mix better concrete with, with this fish home. Oh, oh yeah, all the sticks are, are definitely in there. I like this one a lot. And this is the last one we made. This one's pretty brutal, but it's a nice piece of birch. Oh yeah, I'd say she's stuck in there. What should we start with? Let's probably start with, let's start with this big one. I might just throw this one straight off the dock, honestly. Oh God, first fish trap going in. First fish home. Home, why do I keep calling them traps? Frick. All right, ready? I don't know how deep this is up in the dock. Should I just give her a nice little yeet? A one Mississippi. A two Mississippi. A three Mississippi. <laughs> there we have it. Oh. Look at that, that actually worked really well. And it's standing up too, which is awesome. There's our first piece of structure in the water. So cool, man. That is the one thing I know for a fact about this pond. It's got zero structure. It's just a big, deep bowl. You got reeds on the edge, maybe a few little laydowns, but nothing like that. That is going to be a juicy little spot for fish to post up on. I'm proud of myself. I really am. All right, let's go get the others. What do you think about this one? I like it. Where should we put Mr. Birch? Mr. Birch, where do you want to go in the pond? I'll leave that up to you. Oh, wow. He's very expressive. Right down there, next to those reeds. This one I don't think I can shock because we put some river rock in here to add a little bit of zest. You know, we're all about zest on this channel. This side of the pond's actually much rockier than the side that we just started. It's so crazy how like diverse this pond is. Like, although it doesn't have structure, we're fixing it now. There is reeds. Uh, at one point in time, there's a few lily pads. There's gravel, there's rock, there's sand. There's a bit of mud out there too. It's perfect. Holy moly, dude, it drops right off. One, uh, two, and a three. How perfect is that? Cool, so that's a little bit closer structure. That first one we, we did is in deep water, probably about four, maybe five feet. All right, last and final structure. Let's toss her in. Gonna say any final words? It was a good twig until we poured concrete all over it and made it into a fish structure, but you're going on for a greater purpose. You're, you're going on to serve a greater purpose now. I mean, I might have done shot put in high school. I'm not saying I did, but I might have. Hey, I'm feeling pretty content though. That actually worked a lot better than I thought. When we were pouring that concrete and finding the sticks, I was like, ooh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm very uh, confident in my ability to make these fish, fish structures, but it turned out great. We now have brush piles in every corner of this pond, one shallow, one medium, and then we got the big boy out in the deeps, out in the depths. But anyway, that's pretty sick. I love it. Well, wieners, that is gonna conclude today's pond restoration part three. You guys are thriving for these videos right now, which I absolutely love because I enjoy this. I don't really have many hobbies other than fishing and filming and creating content for you. So working on this pond has kind of become my newfound hobby. If you guys have any thoughts, suggestions, ideas as to what we should do to this little pond behind me, drop a comment in the comment section below. I think structure was a good move, stocking the bait in here to create a little bit forage is also not a bad um, idea as well. Maybe we add a fish feeder, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm all ears, I love your guys' concepts and ideas. So we'll make it happen if it uh, if it is dropped down below. So be sure to comment. Anyway, we are peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for the view. We'll catch you guys next time on the next pond restoration video. As always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. <laughs>